Hey everyone, this is Redbeard, and it is February 1st. I know it's a little early to be talking about 4th of July. Well, no, it's not. Uh, I don't have this on a tripod, so hopefully this doesn't bother everyone. But I thought I'd just do a little experiment here and check out uh, firework and a different way of fusing uh, the firework. You know, typically we would take, you know, the cheap uh, talon or igniter here and slide back the red clip put the tip of it on the fuse and then slide it back on. But what happens with that is that you don't have the same timing as you would as if it directly ignited the firework from the beginning. So uh, I haven't really played with anything before, so I, I know this, these answers are out there. A lot of you <laughs> that do uh, the aerial fireworks will know. But anyway, I just thought it would be cool to check it out on my own. And I thought that it would be similar to maybe an Estes rocket engine and the fact that you've got that clay end to it and basically the igniter goes into it and that's all there is. So perhaps it's the same. And I did do a little checking out. So I pulled off the top here of this Pirate's Treasures and uh, it looks like, so you have a fuse that goes into the top here and we've got simple pieces of paper that are pushing down. This looks like a leader fuse that goes to uh, the next two. So when I pull this paper out, it's pretty much what you see. There's a hole down there and there are two fuses. So one I'm gonna pull out and the other one I had already pulled out, but we'll pull it out again, whoops. One-handed, so that's what we have. So we're left with just a clay hole. The fuse is in the way, but you can see clay hole. So it looks like it's big enough that we can just take the full igniter and shove it in there, which I'm gonna do just to see what it looks like. Ah, and it goes mm, maybe a quarter inch. No, it goes a little bit farther. So I can shove it all the way down in there um, like that. I don't know if it's gonna ignite. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be legal for me to shoot this here to find out. Maybe someone knows and has the answer uh, that would be helpful. I guess I could also push the uh, actual igniter. You could see some of the powder on here but we can push the actual igniter in farther. Yeah, that's pretty much where it goes. It doesn't look like it goes much farther than putting the clip in. So then I would tape this as well, probably tape the top, tape it down. But I'm just really looking for something that will um, ignite when I want it to ignite and not have that leader fuse here that's sticking out, it takes a few seconds. Um, Cause I had some problems last year when I connected these, it worked on say 90% 98% of all the fireworks, but there are two or three that just burnt the outside of the fuse and did not ignite the fireworks. So I don't want any lulls in the show this year. So this is what I'm doing. Hey, uh, let me know what you think. Sounds crazy or you already do this or hey, you know, dumb, dumb. <laughs> it's already been done. Um, it's cool, but for me, it's kind of new. It's just what I thought. I've seen people use a tool, you know, on uh, cakes and cut it into the side and use a their tool. <laughs> I got, <laughs> got this barbecue uh, wood bamboo thing, bamboo thing here to, to help, but I, I didn't need it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you've done it before and you think it's going to work, let me know. If you don't think it's going to work or you know it's not going to work, uh, let me know too. All right.